guys! My name is Manon. Welcome to my art channel. I'm very happy that you're there with me and I'm very excited today because today I'm going to do something for myself. Uh, I needed some jewelry racks um, in my little art boutique. As you know, I have an art boutique. Um, and I needed those racks and my husband came up with a great idea. He said, we have wooden panels that you could just paint on like you did for the, your table. So for those of you uh, who are new to this channel, I will link that video up here for the table that I did for my art boutique. And it was a chaos Dutch pour. And now today I would like to do a chaos Dutch pour. Uh, not exactly in the same colors of the table because I don't want to lose <laughs> My panel on my table. It's uh, I'm just kidding, but uh, similar colors with blues, purples, golds, and a little bit of green. Um, and yeah, it's going to be like a triptych because it's three panels. So let me bring you down on my beautiful colors that I'm going to play with today. Okay, guys. So here are our beautiful colors for today. Of course, my base coat is going to be titanium white. Um, now, let's start off with the this this one. This is one of my prism colors. This is Midnight Shadow. I don't know if you can see the shimmer in here, but it's very pretty. This is Black Raspberry. This is Cerulean Blue. Ooh, yes, you can see the shine in here. And this is Sassy Sprite. I'm not going to put a lot of this one, but I really kind of love this one, you know, near the blues. It, it, it looks always beautiful. And this one is Iridescent Blue-Green from Pabeo Studios. This is from DecoArt Metallics. This is, uh, they call it Deep Turquoise. I don't think it's very deep, but it's very shiny. And of course, my 24K Gold. And... Uh, yeah, these are my three panels. So, <laughs> I'm going to put you back on the tripod and we will start this uh, beautiful Dutch chaos, maybe Dutch pour. <laughs> so bear with me, guys. Hope it's going to turn out really good. All right, guys. So, I was thinking how I should do these panels uh, so they could look beautiful individually and together. <laughs> so I decided to do the Dutch pour in the center part and each end will be will have some white. If I have negative space, cool. If I don't, also cool. So uh, this is what I'm going to do. I just want to put the white at the bottom and at the top and do all the shebang in the middle. Yeah, I think that's going to look very good. So I'm going to bring my panels very close together and then I will separate them for the colors to go through. Yeah. Or should I just leave them apart? Yes, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave them apart a little bit. Okay, guys, let's do this. Let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. Now, I don't have much room here just to put my colors. Okay, I'm going to put them here on the side. Hopefully, no accident will happen. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. I'll put some music on for you guys. You know, I don't talk when I work, so it would be boring for you. So sit back and relax and enjoy the music, guys.
guys. I am totally in love with this and I am just going to fix my sides and bring you down for a close-up guys because this is absolutely gorgeous! <laughs> I'm so happy! Man, I love those colors. Ah, together they just do a great combo. Oh, wow. So let me fix my, my sides and I'll bring you down for a close-up right away, guys, in just a second. Okay, guys. So this is, uh, let's say, half an hour later. Uh, picked up my drips and uh, just took care of my sides. Now, let me show you from up close how pretty this is. Look at those beautiful cells. Oh my goodness. And those colors are just crazy beautiful. Okay, now you're hearing my cat cry. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with him. I will have to check that out. So Horatio, shut up please. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that black raspberry. I'm loving that color. Actually, I'm loving all of them. So this is the next board. Look at that. The mix of the colors are just crazy beautiful. Yeah, loving, loving, loving. And here's the third panel. Look at that. I'm loving that green. You know, at first I said, oh, I'm not going to put much, but I'm happy I did because I'm really loving it. very 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 happy with it so as usual guys I am going to show you once it's totally dry but first let me flush you So, these are my three wooden panels that are totally dried. Look at that. How pretty is that? Everything dried perfectly. Very beautiful. I'm so happy with those cells over here. Yeah. Look at the second one. Hope I'm not going too fast for you. I just... Look at that. So pretty. So vibrant. So now I'm going to put a coat of resin on this and I will show you 
when it's totally done, uh, my little racks, because this is going to be a jewelry rack. Well, three jewelry racks. <laughs> so I'll show you once it's totally done, guys. See ya! All right, guys. So this is it. This is my jewelry rack. Look at that. Oh, I'm making shadow here. I just wanted to show you that how shiny this is. I put a nice coat of resin on it and <laughs> I know it's too beautiful to hide but you know it's jewelry rack but let me show you what I if I can show you from up close see that you can put the jewelry in just like that see isn't that something so <laughs> and it stays there so it's a lot of fun so this is how it looks like because this is the second one with all the jewelry in. Okay, we don't get to see much, but you know, it is what it is. It's a jewelry rack, right? <laughs> so thanks for being here, guys. I hope you like it and I hope that it would give you a little idea if you want to do the same thing. So hugs and kisses, guys. I love you and until the next video. Au revoir